All right, everybody, welcome back. We're fishing here in DC again. We're gonna be using the underwater camera. The goal tonight is to uh, get some takes uh, and in the darkness. We have eel, carp, and mackerel for bait. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we can get some fish on camera. All right, you guys pretty much know how this works. We have a bigger piece of styrofoam pool noodle on there, and then we have two weights to hold it down, so yes, the camera should be aiming directly at that piece of bait. All right, what are we gonna cut first? Oh, we'll leave it like that. There we go. All right, we're sending it. That was actually a lot further than I thought it was gonna be. All right, guys, welcome back. So we started out the day a little bit earlier just to get there kind of before the sun went down. As you can see here, we got a bunch of bait fish rolling around. On this drop, the bait was tangled on the camera, so the fish were not committing to the bait. See these minnows coming by. And even a little striper here. Here's another catfish that does not like the bait being attached to the camera. Not much I could do about that. All this bait scatters once more. I think that was another striper right there. Couldn't completely make it out. Yet again, another catfish right here. They do not like when that bait is attached to the camera right there or tangled. Here I decide to throw another rod in with a different bait, piece of carp instead of eel. And of course, what happens? First one of the day. We got the lighter rod out today to appreciate fighting these fish a little bit more. Dang, guess carp might be it today. He's a pretty nice one, actually. <laughs> he is bigger than I thought. All right. Just keep stay down, buddy. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be a little smaller, but pretty nice one might be 20 just maybe he's over 20 not hurt very well <clears throat> come on baby not hook well at all That's a good fish. There we go. <laughs> uh, catfish. Well, there he is. We're gonna get a weight. DC never disappoints, that's for sure. 25 pounds. Caught on the light rod, too. That's what made the fight amazing. Caught on the carp. We're gonna let him go. <sighs> get out of there. Yes. Well, let's get this out of the water. Change that to carp. We only got that one fish. We're gonna move to the riverside and see if that does any better. See if we can get some fish. Uh, you guys may recognize this spot, you may not. Uh, we're gonna wait on the camera just because I don't wanna waste the battery. It's still got some time to charge also. Take long. He's a baby, baby. Not big. But it took literally probably a minute or two to get him to bite. <laughs> we just went from a 25 pounder to a pounder. I don't even want to show him. I don't want to. All right, I probably caught another eight microscopic catfish, but now it's time for the underwater nighttime footage. Let's do this. This was very, very exciting drop right here. <laughs> there was a bunch of stuff going on, that's for sure. 
we had this white perch all over the camera. This guy was swimming back and forth almost the entire time. He definitely looked a little flared up, maybe a little angry that maybe I casted there or something, but he just would not leave the camera alone. He kept coming into frame constantly. Here, my bait is behind the rock to the left. Um, so that is, is why the fish keeps swimming over there. You'll see this catfish come in from the left here. And here he actually had my bait and was swimming with it. Every time I tried to reel up on these fish at night, for some reason, I just missed freaking all of them. It was, it was very, very frustrating. Casted right back out there right after that. Um, at this point, I think my GoPro died or it was too dark outside to record, so all the rest of the footage is gonna be underwater. But here we cast right back towards that white perch. I think this is the same fish. Definitely know what I'm fishing for next time I fish this spot. Here we had another catfish pick up the bait and he was just swimming horizontal sideways with it. And same thing happened, tried to lock up on him and he was just not there. They were just letting go immediately. Uh, this clip was actually a day later um, in the tidal basin. And I was trying to get some more underwater footage. Here we got a few bites, but it was the same results. Just picking it up and dropping it. We had the same bait carp out there. But as you can see, the bait is in there. They show up pretty well on camera down there. This guy hanging out in front of the camera here. Just sneaks up, boom, sucks it in. And he's swimming with it, swimming with it. By this point, I had my rod in my hand. I go to lock up and boom, they spit it. 